Sometime in Clash of Clans, attack strategies happen that just shouldn't, or really weird compositions are put together that bring you strange, but true attacks. What is up my friends, my name is Echo and I'm back with another strange but true attack strategy video where I feature different strategies that are just really weird and things that you probably haven't seen or don't often see inside of the game and we're starting off with this Golem Avalanche Skeleton Hog Attack. We're coming in with the Skelly Donut right now on top of the Queen, the Clan Castle with six Skeleton Spells, the Rage and the Freeze, taking down the Clan Castle of the Queen and whatever else they can tear through wall and grab. Golem coming in with that queen behind, and we're going to see a bunch of wizards behind this happening very soon as well. Tail end of the attack is going to have the Hog Riders. Now, we've basically put together three different strategies inside of this one attack. You have a Goho, you have a Skelly Donut, and you have an Avalanche attack, which is a pretty crazy way to put together, and, and definitely not the norm. Now you may say, why did they take down the clan castle? Why didn't they just lure it and have the queen take care of it? And I do not know. Caesar wanted to get fancy and come through with something a little bit different, and he definitely accomplished that, as he is gonna pull out a three star on this Town Hall 9 base, utilizing this weird, strange, but true strategy. Guys, if you like Clash of Clans, if you like this new series, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell because I have daily Clash of Clans videos for you right here and I want you guys here with me as soon as the videos drop. So come on through. King's gonna take down that town hall. Queen is charging into the base and she's got no healers but there is no need because that queen is being protected by Golem and by the Golemite. Check this out as the Golem just step on up, allow for that queen to just path nicely through the base and one hog rider at a time will come through and take out the defenses. The queen is finally having to fend for herself as the golem decides to run around the outside of the base. But look at the value from that solo hog rider. Another skeleton spell being used on that expo so those guards are taking down that expo and now they're gonna make their way that one hog rider took out three defenses that is completely incredible and unheard of literally just doesn't happen and now we have the hog riders gonna path through and take out the final few defenses but really the hogs were not even needed in this attack so much value was taken from the kill squad going into the base and those wizards the base was completely trashed and right now it's being cleaned up king's ability a few hog riders and a wizard left over in the composition this was a fun attack and a great one to start out this strange but true video right here on my channel. Now this attack strategy has no name. It has a little bit of literally everything. A golem, two hog riders, three minions, five dragons. We have 11 balloons. So it's really like a drag loon attack with a really big kill squad with some back end hog riders. So again, we have the attacker coming through with a strategy, which is a hybrid of multiple different strategies. Getting that clan castle lore, poisoning the troops, getting the wizard in there to help out the queen to clean up all of those skellies. And then, we should start seeing phase two. So phase one is take care of that clan castle. Get it out of the way. One test wall breaker coming on in. Now three more are going to come in as well. Open up that compartment for the golem and the queen to step on up. Now, this is something that we never think about. And from this war, I did make a queen charge guide. But you could also get good value out of your queen instead of bringing healers, of bringing a tank of some sort. And oftentimes that tank is going to be a golem. Allow that golem to just go in in front of your queen and protect her from all the defenses. Now that we've had the base kind of funneled out, cut that corner out of it, we're going to come in with those dragons and the balloons behind. We have a couple more dragons. They're all dropped in now. And now the balloons are coming on in, raging them into that Tesla farm. Queen's about to go down to that cannon. Oh, there's her ability. Pops it and just narrows the base down a little bit more. You want to keep those dragons as much on track as you can. And the best way to do it is to make sure that the troops don't get pulled to the outside by defenses. But look at this. A skelly spell being used in the core. Trying to take down that expo, but unfortunately didn't get that one done. Dragons are pushing in nicely now, but notice also two more skeleton spells, two haste spells, and ten more balloons still in the comp. Those balloons are going to be coming in behind the Lalo, so we had uh, a queen 
we had the queen take down the clan castle. Then the queen charge into the base with that with that golem, so a tanked queen. Then we had a king for funneling. Then we had dragons. Then we had it followed up with a lalo with a little bit of skeletons in there to try and distract some defenses as well. Lots going on on this strategy. Lots of planning to bring in something that is very different than the meta attack strategies that you're used to seeing. And I'll tell you what, this one went really well. The defenses are 100% gone from this base. Everything else is clean up with a wall breaker and two skeleton spells left over in the composition. Unbelievable attack. One that earned the title of strange but true because it really is not an attack that you would just say, I'm gonna do this strategy today because it is not just one. It is multiple different strategies. And here come all of those guards spawning out of that skeleton spell or those two skeleton spells coming to the battle, running around the base. I love this one. Super weird, super strange. That's why it's here today. So we have an only queen Lalo. There's no king in this one whatsoever. The king is probably upgrading and the guide, the goal, the thing that I always tell you guys is do not go into war without both heroes. But over here in God Team, maybe they don't follow those rules. Maybe they say we don't need a king. And you know what? If you are going into an attack with your king down or your queen down, a Lalo is probably the best strategy to do it. Get all of those Lava Hounds tanking in front, protecting all of those balloons, and just rush into the base with them. The Lava Hounds are all in. There's a couple of balloons left over, but it's crazy that this base was able to go down and check it out. Even the queen is still up. She has not been taken out. Where is our queen going to come on into this base? Was she even used? I don't even think she's dropped in yet. They just started out straight up with the Lalo, raging up the skeleton spell, which is gonna try and take down the queen. The pups are there to help out as well now. Pups are beating on the queen. She's about to go down and she does. And that's the key to the success right there from this attack. All the air defenses are gone. There's a balloon and a giant left over and our queen wasn't even used. Who needs heroes right now in Clash of Clans? You don't need them, I guess. Although that goes against everything I've always said inside of this game. Make sure that you are attacking with your heroes unless if you feel that you are an expert at this strategy. This is not a normal outcome of this attack, not needing to use heroes at all. The hero-less Lalo, three-starring, a max level Town Hall 9 base. Who needs a king? Who needs a queen? Probably could have gone with a few less balloons as well. Dominant attack right there. Definitely earning the spot in today's video. Let me know if this one is your favorite because although it's not that strange, it's definitely not normal. It's not something that you're typically gonna see and that's why it's here today. Check it out, no hero. And to finish things off, this one of course is going to use the heroes but it's like a queen charge baby dragon Lalo. Probably the least strange of the four in today's video, but definitely out of the norm and something you're not typically going to see. It's combining two different strategies, the queen charge baby dragon attack and a queen charge Lalo attack, getting a little bit from both worlds. But now check this out. The queen, she's diving into the base right over here with all of the air defenses, four air defenses, right here in the western section of the base. She's gonna be able to take down all of those, or at least that is the goal. Here come the breakers, they're gonna be hit by the mortar. Oh no, they do make it to that wall. My goodness, talk about getting inside and taking advantage, exposing a base for its weakness. And that's what the attacker found right here. They found the weakness inside of the base. Those four air defenses all clustered on the western side and they said, we can get in there with the queen charge. Then we can rush some baby dragons and our Lalo taking down the rest of this base. And that is going to happen. But the queen, she's gonna get tied up in this lava hound. Now, if you're wondering why a lava hound in the clan castle, let's watch why. The lava hound ties up that queen for quite some time. Once the lava hound pops, the poison spell needs to be used and the queen needs to take more time to take down those pups. Those pups can beat on the healers or even at times take down the queen if she's being targeted by other defenses as well. So it can put you in a very hairy spot inside of the game. Baby dragons are starting on the outside of the base, setting a funnel. The lava hound is coming in, tanking for that solo baby dragon and the balloons are coming in behind that. No more lava hounds in the composition. The two are deployed, one from the clan castle, one from being cooked up. And remember guys, we're all Town Hall 9 right here. 
all the troops that are being donated are Town Hall 9 level troops as well. They are not coming in with high level Clan Castle troops. So these strategies are really, really solid. Now, what I notice here is two Gladiator skin queens. I want to ask you guys right now, what is your favorite queen skin inside of Clash of Clans? I want to know which one you like best. And obviously here, either the attacker only has the one Gladiator Queen skin or it's their favorite. It's definitely one of my favorite. And remember guys, when you are buying the season pass, remember to use code ECHO. It definitely hooks me up and there is no reason not to support a creator inside of the game, whether that be me or another content creator. So make sure you use code ECHO or one of your favorites when you are buying your pass or gems or really for any other reason in the game. Just put in a code, guys, every seven days and hook someone up. But those were some serious attacks. But guys, we are out of here for today. Here is my reminder for code ECHO. It is always there on my base. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love these strange attacks and we have maintenance incoming in seven minutes. And you know why that is awful? I have another video I wanna record from this war, but I'm going to lose all of the replays and that is awful. I am sorry, I had some great Town Hall 9 attack strategies that were really different for a top list but we're gonna have to hold off for another day and another war because maintenance strikes again guys thanks so much for coming through make sure you check out this video before you go and remember to have a great day be safe and be good Come on.